Now, the first key word here is testimony. You might guess what that word is in Greek because we hear it a lot, right? I mean, we hear the explanation. Martyria. This is the witness. To the word martyr, as you know in Greek, means witness. Interesting fact about John's Gospel. He never uses the word for evangelize. Evangelizome, which is common. In the, he always uses the word witness. Witness. That's his word for evangelize. Why? If you're going to be a witness, you have to have first hand knowledge of what you're talking about. You go to court and you say, Did you see that Mr. Jones's car hit Mr. Smith's car? You say, Well, I, I think so. You're out. You've got to say, Yes, I saw it, and I'll swear to it. So, do you want to tell me about Jesus? Well, I got a couple of ideas. Never mind. I'm going to talk to somebody who knows him. And that's a witness. So, you'll find in John's Gospel this notion of witness. As uh, Benedict XVI said, baptism in the Spirit, which is for the whole church, means to be aware of what was given to us in baptism and confirmation. Everybody has to be baptized. Everybody has to get it that they're living by the Holy Spirit, have the courage to preach the gospel, to die for Christ, and to protect this world from destruction. Everybody. And that's why he says, I urge everybody, my brothers and sisters, to be baptized in the Holy Spirit, to become aware any way you want to become aware. Beg, borrow, steal it. But become aware. You need an experiential faith if you're going to preach the gospel, if you're going to live the Christian life, and if you're going to help the world. You've got to know what you're talking about. It's that simple. 